Now, this was a rather interesting question because a lot of people might have gotten sort of disillusioned by that 3 raised to k, 4 raised to k, 5 raised to k and so on, but it is a fairly straightforward question, right. So, in these kind of questions, whenever you have been asked which of these number divides or what is the remainder when something is divided by something, right, you can take values and figure out if there is some element that is common. So, we have been talking about let a be the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers in the form of 3 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 5 raised to k and k in this case is a positive integer very important k is a positive integer. So, which is the smallest positive integer that we know of 1. So, in the first case we are saying 3 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 5 raised to k when k equals 1 what will be the value of this 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is 12. So, we know that a should divide 12. What all numbers divide 12? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 6 numbers that divide 12. Not the answer that we are looking for, right? What if k equals 2? 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square, right? So, if you know your Pythagorean triplets, you know that 3 square plus 4 square is already 5 square. So, 5 square plus 5 square gives you 25 plus 25 or 50. Now, I need a number a that divides 12 and 50. And it should be the largest possible uh, possible positive integer that we have, right? So, what is the largest integer that divides 12 and 50? HCF of 12 and 50. Now, HCF of 12 and 50 is 2 because they do not share any other factor except 2 or 1 and 2 are the only two factors that are shared by 12 and 50. So, HCF is 2. Now, we have reached a point in time wherein we know that 2 is basically the only thing that is common or the largest thing that is common to 12 and 50. Now, I just have to figure out whether any number in the form of 3 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 5 raised to k where k is an integer will be divisible by 2 or not. And if that is the case, definitely 2 has to be the first part of our solution. Now, think about it. 3 raised to k, right? 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 any number of times is going to give you an odd number, right? Because there is no element of 2 that is present. Similarly, 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 any number of times is going to give you an even number. 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 is again going to give you an odd number. The sum of an odd number and an even number and an odd number is always going to be an even number which means that 3 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 5 raised to k is always going to be divisible by 2. So, we can say that a in this case is 2 the largest integer positive integer that divides 3 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 5 raised to k has to be 2. What about the second part? The second part is b which is the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers in the form of 4 raised to k plus 3 into 4 raised to k plus 4 raised to k plus 2. Now, if you look at it 4 raised to k is common to each and every expression of this particular uh, expression that has been given to us each and every term of this particular expression. So, let us take 4 raised to k common, 1 is basically the remaining part of the first term, 3 is the remaining part of the second term and 4 square because 4 raised to k plus 2 is nothing but 4 raised to k into 4 square, so 16. So, we will get 20 times 4 raised to k. Now, k is a positive integer meaning k has to be at least equal to 1. So, the numbers that will be in this form will be 20 into 4, 20 into 4 into 4. 20 into 4 into 4 into 4 and so on. So, with each advancement in k by 1, the value will be nothing but previous term into 4. So, what is the largest number that divides each and every term 20 into 4 or 80? So, we can say that the value of b is 80. Value of a is 2, value of b is 80, a plus b will be nothing but 2 plus 80 that is 82 which is also the answer to this particular question.